Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude here with another video and today I'm forcing my best friend to review the Ocean Protector Mosasaurus to kind of get a different perspective because I've been told that I'm a bit, um, what's the word? I, 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 I don't criticize it too much, you know? I, I tend to uh, make things seem very great and awesome. But here we have a normal person, she doesn't really know a bit about Jurassic Park. I know Park. absolutely nothing about Jurassic Park except for what he's told me. Yeah, exactly. So just a normal human being, a normal non-collector, and she's gonna do an honest review on the figure to give you guys a better idea on whether or not you should purchase this toy. So let's, let's begin. Oh, yeah. all right. So I mean, obviously, first off, I don't know how realistic it's supposed to look, but it doesn't look very realistic. Oh yeah, I guess I should hold it. Um, also, like, there's like paint creases in the wrinkles on its back, which have been annoying me this entire time while I'm holding it. Because if you look directly at them, you can tell that they're just pools of paint within the little, like, crevices of this toy. Um, I mean, it looks like a Mosasaurus, or what I would think a Mosasaurus would look like as a toy um so it does that <laughs> it looks like a toy so it also does that also its teeth like don't align properly in some places which is kind of annoying like over here where there's just a random gap that shouldn't be there because every other tooth lines up perfectly fine um it's got some movement, so that's kind of cool. It's got some some joint movement in the tail, and it goes side to side. I don't like how it's like segmented off here and here, but does nothing. I just don't like the look of segments in general. Um, yeah, it also moves, these things move. All four of the fins go back and forth. And also its jaw opens up. Yep. How, how do you feel about, you can you can move the fins like, oh yeah, it? the squish. Oh yeah, you can squish it, which is kind of cool. Um, I have this want to put water inside it and squirt it out, even though I don't think I can do that. I think you can do it out of the butt end. There, there's some holes back there where the water goes in and out. Maybe just manhandling it. <laughs> <laughs> it's chill. I, I was dragging it around in the last video. And also, there's something here. I don't know what this is, but it feels like dried super glue. It looks like it. Um, I don't know if that's on all of them or just this one, but it's also kind of ugly as hell. Maybe spit on it. Will it come out? I'm not spitting on it. <laughs> if it if it's a little wet. And maybe it I spilled also something on it. I don't know. Just kind of looks like someone sprayed it with like an empty spray can. Yeah, or it's like, got all those little dots, like someone... Yeah, or like use the paintbrush to do the thing. And then some of them are, like... I guess smudged. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, if you're gonna have dots, don't like, run your hand over it after. Are they, are they like, the paint, or are they in the plastic? Try like, scratching one off with your nail. Um... They don't come off, so I'm gonna say they're in the plastic. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, but it has like texture, which is kind of cool, obviously. But even like the scales have texture, it's not like just for look. So that's also kind of cool. And yeah. So yeah, overall, if you were like a kid- Ew, it also is that. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I noticed that when I was buying it. I, I mean, well, after buying it. The, yeah, uh, I, that might be from the rope that holds it in the package. It might have like scuffed it a little bit or something. Okay, well, I don't that's know. also ugly. It is, I agree. <laughs> so would you recommend buying it, say, if you were like a kid or a collector? Or, I mean, if What would you give it? I'd give it, I'd rate it like probably a solid 7 or 8 out of 10. I don't, I don't like the paint, but in my, in... The Mosasaurus' defense, I also don't know anything about what it's from. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I'd say like seven or eight, depending. Um, I feel like buying this for a kid would be good. If you are a child or you're looking to buy something for a kid, it would work as a good toy. It moves, 
you can pretend to do stuff with it, like eat things or something. Yeah, it's got a big enough <laughs> mouth for that. It's like a good solid toy. Figurine wise, this isn't what I would consider a figurine. Um, Whoa, offense but, taken. But, <laughs> if you do collect these as figurines, um, with my idea of a figurine and what I collect as figurines, I'd say it's like, it's okay, it's good. If you like it, it's good. Oh yeah, before we end this video, how do you feel about the environmental part of it? Because the tail and the fins are made from ocean-bound plastic, so plastic that will eventually end up in the ocean. I'd say that's good. That's always a really cool thing. I think that they should make more things like that. Um, it is like a very hard, sort of PVC-esque plastic. I mean, would I have preferred if they made the whole thing out of that plastic? Yes, but I also collect figurines that aren't made out of ocean-bound plastic, so I can't say much. So. For Mattel, that's great, especially a really large company doing something like that and spreading awareness for something like that is really good. Um, I hope that they do it more in the future and I think that that's something that other companies should definitely follow suit. So considering that part of it, it's really good. Uh, especially with like, it's, it's again, it's like a quality figure or quality toy, whichever way you want to collect it. So, like, with the ocean-bound plastic in consideration and all that, it's definitely a good buy, and I'd say it's worth it. Awesome. Thank you so much for your input. I appreciate it, and I'm sure all the collectors out there watching appreciate a different view of this figure in particular. So again, thank you so much for joining me in this video, and hope all of you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you all in the next video.